EWTM Pro-Life Weekly launched our inaugural episode two years ago during 2017's March for Life Week. Throughout the course of our 100 episodes, we have interviewed top lawmakers, church officials, and pro-life influencers with the intent to inform, enlighten, and educate you, our viewers, so we can together build a culture of life. And we are joined now by two people who played a pivotal role in the creation of EWTN Pro-Life Weekly. Michael Warsaw is EWTN's own chairman and CEO, and Marjorie Dannenfelter is president of the Susan B. Anthony List. I am so glad we could all be together for this special show. Oh, this is fun. We need the 100 candle birthday cake right, right here. I know. That will come out <laughs> later, right? I know. No, but thank, thank you both for being here. And this show would not be possible without the support of the Susan B. Anthony List. Can you both, Michael and Marjorie, speak to the vision behind EWTN Pro-Life Weekly? Well, I think when we first began talking about this show, you know, it was really sort of an informal conversation. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think we were both convinced that, you know, there really was a gap that existed mm -hmm. um, and a gap that a show like this could fill, mm -hmm. you know, to really sort of hone in on the issues of life and mm -hmm. the challenges to life. Um, and, and in so many ways that exist in this period in, in history. Right. Um, while it might be a part of the, the discussion of other shows or news mm -hmm. items and so forth, um, I think we both felt that having a show that focused exclusively on the life issues mm -hmm. um, and one which, which issued a call to action, mm -hmm. I think that was an extremely important part yeah. of what we were trying to accomplish mm -hmm. with the creation of the show. Mm -hmm. um, we felt all of that was really, really important in a, in a particular way at this time in, in history. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah, it was very complimentary. As soon as we started talking, we were both like, yeah, 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 let's, let's keep moving this forward. Um, I've worked in this town mm, a few <laughs> decades. My husband and I both have in di different branches of government, in associations, and other places. For me, Susan B. Anthony Liss has been the yeah. pro-life work of my life. But it, this came from um, a love of the church, a knowledge of EWTN, but a little bit from afar mm -hmm. and thinking, how do we uh, collapse the distance between Washington, D.C., your elected representatives, and home? Mm -hmm. It really should be that way for a citizen activist, for a citizen lobbyist, to have that access to all those people that are making all those decisions, the people that I've been working with, the senators and the congressmen and now people in the administration. They're just a lot of really great leaders and great friends that I thought, I just want to be able to um, have a way to introduce them to, to the best people in the country. And, it, and it, Michael's like, okay, mm -hmm. let's do it. It's <laughs> so unique for a movement to have its own television show. Yeah. Um, Michael, I never had the opportunity to meet our foundress, Mother Angelica. I know that you were close with her, and we actually found this old clip of Mother Angelica speaking about the pro-life issue in voting. Let's take a look. Should we really vote for anyone? One year I voted for Jesus. I didn't know what to vote for. I said, write in vote. So I put Jesus. <laughs> He's the only one I thought could make it and would do a good job. <laughs> but that was the last vote, I was told. OK, so should you vote? Oh, yes, you should. Does it matter who we vote for? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to vote for candidates. I vote for life. <sighs> Mother was really passionate about the pro-life issue. Absolutely, absolutely. I remember that show while I was there, actually, uh, uh, as I was often for Mother's, mm -hmm. Mother's live shows through the years. Um, no, mother was mother was an incredibly outspoken, uh, you know, incredibly clear uh, advocate for life at all mm -hmm. stages. Mm -hmm. You know, I think um, I think she, because of the suffering that she had in her life, I think from the time mm -hmm. she was a child to her last days on earth, mm -hmm. she suffered, and she knew the value of suffering, and I think she understood because of that the value of every human life, mm -hmm. that every life regardless of stage, regardless of the difficulties, the challenges, every life has meaning and value mm -hmm. in the eyes of God. And, and I think that compelled her to be this extraordinary voice when 
there weren't a lot of voices often. Mm -hmm. uh, that extraordinary voice for life. Marjorie, we work with the Susan B. Anthony list each and every week to determine that call to action that mm -hmm. Michael referenced earlier. Um, why is that so important? And from what you're hearing, is it making an impact? Oh, well, there's absolutely it's making an impact. I think right now we're really reaping the benefits of the fact that this show has been continually communicating with people across the country. Right now we're seeing the horror of mm -hmm. state legislatures embracing late-term abortion, even in fantasy, mm -hmm. and in New York the celebration of it over the uh, memorial of deaths of little children that were killed in 9-11. Um, what's happening now is that there are people all over the country really riveted on this question and on this on this horror and they want to know what to do with that right. and that's why she's so right god that's so beautiful i don't vote for candidates i vote for life mm. so our radar ought to be oriented towards where is life right now that's the debate that is happening now that is the thing that we can have an impact on and looking at some of the numbers from the call to action that our viewers have taken over 20 3,000 submitted comments in support of the Protect Life rule, over 11,000 in support of the abortion surcharge transparency, you know, calls to confirm pro-life justices. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. um, Michael, as the Global Catholic Network, what is our responsibility in speaking up in defense of life? Well, I think, I, I think that's innately tied to mm -hmm. what our mission is. You know, I, I think it's... it's uh, it's our responsibility to be that voice, to mm -hmm. be that voice on a global basis. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Mother Angelica would uh, be very, very proud of this show. Mm -hmm. I think she'd be very, very proud of, of what you've been able to accomplish with the show and what you've done with the mm -hmm. show. To be that weekly voice, the weekly voice that's shining light on the evil that mm -hmm. is happening, mm -hmm. you know, to, to make people aware of that and being a clear and consistent voice for mm -hmm. life. You know, I think uh, we're mother with us in this time uh, in particular. Um, you know, I think she would have, uh, in <laughs> her own fashion, <laughs> yeah, uh, very uh, clear and unequivocal words about so-called self-described Catholic politicians mm. uh, who uh, do what they do. Uh, you know, she had no time and no tolerance for that. Uh -huh. And and I think that's that's continues to be the voice of the network. Mm -hmm. That continues to be the reason for this show. Mm. Thank you for those words and for your continued support. Marjorie, you've been with us most weeks here. Uh, mm -hmm. Have you had a favorite moment? Is there a highlight for you? Well, I have to say that the call to action part is my favorite because mm -hmm. I'm at heart an activist. You know? yes. um, so that's always been my favorite. Um, I honestly, my favorite part is just honestly, our back and forth on mm -hmm. the set, getting to know you. I, mm -hmm. I'm a big believer in your leadership. You didn't expect me to say this. Mm -hmm. I know that you've been put here for a purpose and for this mm -hmm. time, and this show Thank was you. really essential to that. Thank I'm really you. proud of you. Well, I'm so grateful for both of your supports. And as we look back on 100 episodes, um, what are your hopes for these next 100 episodes as we continue <laughs> on? Um, there is a lot ahead of us. It's very, very concrete mm -hmm. on, a, on a natural level, and it's also very, very important on a spiritual level these next yeah. couple of years when we move into who's going to be our next president. Um, will Roe versus Wade be overturned? Mm -hmm. If it is, all of those state battles that will be engaged to fight for life, our job, it will be multiplied many, many, many times. I see this show as part of the preparation for a beautiful mm -hmm. springtime for life. Mm -hmm. I pray so. I, I couldn't agree with that more. Mm -hmm. you know, um, I think uh, the challenges to life uh, continue. You know, mm -hmm. they're, they're, not, they're not getting fewer, they're getting mm -hmm. more and more frequent. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, you know, my hope is certainly that the show continues to be as it has been, uh, a voice for those who are voiceless, mm. uh, and, and a challenge to people to you know, sort of get up off the sofa right. mm -hmm. and, and to really become engaged That's on right. this. Um, and, and you know, to really focus their efforts in whatever way they can. Mm -hmm. I think that was one of the things that we hoped for in the beginning was that mm -hmm. this show would motivate people who maybe hadn't been involved in the pro-life movement in any way. Mm -hmm. Even people who were homebound, you know, right. to, to, to realize that you can be a part of this fight. You can raise your voice. You can pray. Mm. There are all of these things that you can do. And, and I, I think as we go forward, uh, to the next hundred shows and the next thousand shows mm -hmm. and the next mm -hmm. ten thousand mm -hmm. shows. Uh, I think that's what that's what I hope for is that we'll continue to be the clear and consistent voice for life. 
Absolutely. And every voice matters. Every Amen. voice matters. <laughs> Michael Warsaw, Marjorie Jane and Felser, thank you so much for being here and for your support and for getting this show off the ground. Thank, thank you. you. Such thank a blessing. Thank you.